Mm -hmm. I sir, one of the one of the concerns uh, prior to the IRR and once the uh, act was was passed was basically questions of people. Uh, what exactly is the process once somebody is arrested, is detained? There were there were questions about you know how long before anybody even finds out that somebody has been uh, arrested. What has been clarified in that on that front? Okay. Um, once arrested, like for instance, under Section 29, ano, yung warrantless arrest, no? they call it. Ano? It's actually 29 is actually more precisely detention without warrant of arrest. Ano? Um, so what we did was we the, the law itself provided that the notification to the judge, the nearest judge, um, should be done immediately. No? Mm -hmm. um, and also there should be notification to the Commission on Human Rights as well as, of course, to the Anti-Terrorism Council. Um, so what we did was, after taking into consideration the recommendations of the other law enforcement agencies, we fixed it at 48 hours notification. Um, sabi nga nila, no, in many areas, uh, some of these terrorist uh, activities, uh, terrorism-related activities, ano, um, occur in areas in the middle of our flung, no? So they've asked that uh, they be allowed, uh, well, so, uh, yeah, Just to be clear, I mean, one of the terms is immediately. You're now saying we've settled on 48 hours. So yes. by definition, you're saying 48 hours counts as the immediate notification. Under the circumstances and based on the experience of law enforcement agencies on the ground, 48 hours, um, that's what we arrived at. I, mean, I, I take your uh, your perspective here that that's a reasonable accommodation of realities. Pwedeng inaresto sa buntok, pwedeng inaresto sa ano. But I, I'm I'm curious about the very definition of informing a, a local judge. I I can I can understand you know, but we also have the technology. Diba? Para, una, una, the operation, I presume, to arrest somebody and take a a long time. You're anticipating the arrest maybe by 5 o'clock later or tomorrow morning and so on. It's so easy to to to, uh, to radio someone or even just text someone. They say, we got the suspect. We got him. Why do you need 48 hours for that? That's true, no? But really, really, the, the notification... Um, was really, is really for the protection of the detained person. So as far as we're concerned, you know, so para wala nang duda dyan, wala, no excuses, no nothing, we insisted that really the notification has to be hand-delivered personally to the judge, to the nearest judge. So um, that's really for the protection of the accused. So there's really not, nothing to, no excuses anymore for the law enforcement agencies. For instance, they try to send it by text, they try to send it by like this, like that. So um, it's clear. You have to send it. You have to hand deliver it to the judge. Sir, but two days is a long time huh? for somebody under detention. A lot, a lot of things can happen in 48 hours. I mean, of course, you would know. You, somebody you're somebody could die. Somebody could die in 48 hours. I mean, and we know that for a fact it happens in this country. Well, you know, these are the things that, you know, we took into consideration. But at the same time also, you no. Know, um, we had to we had to take into consideration the reality on the ground.